Why is this my life? How am I this terrible? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today we're going to be getting into another subscription box. At least it's not an advent calendar this time, but there are- Oh, thunder! Are you okay, Sky? Jeez! Can you help a lady out here and stop rattling the sky? But today we are going to be looking at this box over here. Ooh. Oh my god! I don't think the tape held. Uh, anyway, this box right here, which is the Boxy Charm Boxy. There's so many of them now. I almost entirely blanked on the name. I was like Boxy Extreme, a Boxy Mega. I, I wasn't sure. The, but the Boxy Lux for this season. This does come every three months, so it's not a once a month kind of box. This box is actually an upgrade to your current Boxy subscription. It is an additional twenty-eight dollars and ninety-nine cents. And now that the Boxy Charm like base price has risen to twenty-five dollars, I'm assuming that this box is almost fifty-five dollars. You are supposed to get two. $250 worth of products inside of here though, so that is good. Okay, so uh, the first thing to make a nose dive out of this box was right here. This is the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo, and uh, I might have cracked the lid just a little bit. I love dry shampoos because as a lazy person, maybe not lazy, yeah, no lazy, that works. A, a time efficient person, sometimes you just don't have time to like fully wash your hair. Oh, it smells good. It's charcoal, so I wonder if it's dark. Now it just looks clear. Oh, maybe a little bit. There's like kind of a gray cast to it. Oh my gosh, that's so cold. Um, anyway, yeah, it does kind of have a slight gray cast to it. And apparently if you blast it right at your skin, it makes it real cold. Moving on to the rest of the box, we have the little card here that'll tell us about everything inside of the box and it's full size price. This month the theme is whimsy, which I like. The next thing I'm seeing here is a Daily Concepts Your Hair Wrap Towel. So it's like one of those little things that you can do head wraps with, which I do tend to wrap, you know, what little hair I have left on my head up in a towel after I get out of the shower. So that's nice make it a little bit easier sometimes like the large body towels are also just like a little bit heavy and they like you know pull your head over when you put them on so this seems like it would be nice and light and easy to wrap your hair up with oh yeah i forgot to mention i don't have any makeup on right now which i'm sure you can very easily tell because i'm going to be doing like a little try on at the end of this video so if you guys want to stay tuned for that you can the next thing we have in here is from ciate london this is the confetti highlighter i like ciate london stuff i think their packaging is really cute we get it a lot in subscription boxes very sorry if the rain is gonna bug you guys. It's just a really disgusting day outside. It's very icky. I would just love to have some- oh it's pretty! I just really want to be like in the Christmas spirit dead gun it and this weather is not helping. This highlighter is really pretty though. It's like all these little individual pods of this highlighter. Um it kind of reminds me of Dippin' Dots. Ooh, it's really pretty, really smooth, but it's also really um dark. It's a little bit too dark for my skin tone. I'm gonna see if it's like dispersed out if it's not too bad. If it is still a little bit too dark, which I think it's going to be, I might use it as like maybe a blush topper or something. I still think this is gonna be a little bit dark for me, but it is a pretty highlight. Ooh, this looks different. Okay, so next up here we have something from Cosmetics. It says clean, clinical, luxurious, which the box does feel pretty luxurious. Ah, I've seen one of these before. It looks like something a man in a leather hood would carry around during medieval times. This is actually for your skin. You should roll it on your face and I guess it promotes like circulation through your skin. It probably helps drain your lymph nodes or whatever it is. But I think if I'm not mistaken, Tati has something like this. It looks actually almost identical, so it might be the same one. And it does feel really nice and refreshing on the skin. So that is nice. I do actually like it when we receive tools like this in subscription boxes because this is something that you can use over and over and over again. Oh, okay. So next up here, we have something from Elemis. I really like Elemis. Their stuff is so, so expensive. This, I'm a little bit afraid to open though, because I already did my regular BoxyCharm unboxing. I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I just hiccup. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've already posted that. And in that video, um, I discussed a situation that somebody had with one of their BoxyCharms, which I'm sure is like a once in a lifetime a uh, terrifying experience but uh, uh she found a little bit of a little bit of a spider in her <laughs> rose oil so hopefully ours is clean because this is the pro collagen rose facial oil oh yes spider free we're all good to go however i can smell the rose like very pungently already and i haven't even opened it up yet but the bottle is super super pretty i do already have another like elemis oil which i personally really like so even though this has rose in it and i am not a rose fan i am gonna give this a try just because i like elemis 
so much and I'm sure it's very expensive. Oh, okay, so next on here we have something from Fresh. This is the Soy Face Cleanser and I think Fresh is a really nice brand as well. This is supposed to be for all skin types, rich in amino acids and gently cleanses face and eyes. I don't know if I've ever heard a cleanser say like specifically you can clean your eyes with it. Why does that sound so strange to me? So this is what the bottle looks like. It is of course a full size. You get five fluid ounces of it, which is nice. And I do like that it is a gentle formula. So yeah, excited to get that a try. Ooh, okay, so next in here we have a bottle, which I think is really cute. This is from M Greengrass. It is a beach hair. Oh, it's a fragrance. At first I thought it said beach hair and I thought it was like a, a beach hair spray, but no, it's actually beach air and it's a dry oil spray. Hmm, that's different. I really do like the bottle of this though. This would be nice to like set out on your countertop. It says multi-use for body, face, and hair. Oh, <laughs> that feels very different. It feels like you're spraying yourself with oil, which I guess that's exactly what you're doing. It feels literally like soft as you're spraying it. Hmm, I like the fragrance of it. It is a little bit, a little bit like maybe on the masculine side, but it is a nice fragrance. The reason I laughed though while I was spraying it on is because I forgot that I have my... <laughs> I have my uh, no-bake cookies that I made in some type of like weird frenzy last night <laughs> sitting next to me and I accidentally sprayed them with it. But that's okay uh, because they turned out horrifically and I don't think a human being could actually like like eat them with their teeth. So I don't think some fragrance oil spray is gonna hurt them too much. You hear that? That just fell all the way off the table and it's completely uninjured. Okay, and the very last thing in here, I think, is what I was saving for last because I'm really excited about it. Eee, this is so cute looking. We have a, another eyeshadow palette here from Storybook Cosmetics. In my first BoxyCharm unboxing, we got like a little one. It was really, really cute. It's right here. This one is Robin Hood and this one is Little Briar Rose. Very excited to see what the colors are gonna look like in here. I know this packaging is like kind of excessive and not really necessary, but it's cute. Okay. So the inside of this palette has a very interesting color layout. There's some like rosy, oh, Briar Rose. Yeah, okay. Rosy pinks, there's some like reds and then some blues in there, which I think is really pretty. So very excited to give this a try today. The other one, I did have quite a bit of an issue with like fallout and stuff. So maybe today I'll do my eyes first and then like do my face after. So yeah, I do believe that is everything. Let me go ahead and get you guys some pricing really fast. So the Storybook Cosmetics Fairytales palette is $55. The Elemis Pro Collagen Ro Oh! <laughs> I am not a fan of storms. Okay, the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil is 79. Ciate London Confetti Highlighter, 32. The Soy Fresh, oh my gosh, Fresh Soy Cleanser is $48. Um, the Daily Concepts Hair Towel Wrap is 18. IGK First Class Charcoal Detoxifying Shampoo is 27. The Dry Oil Spray is 36. Oh, Too Faced Rich and Dazzling Lip Gloss. I didn't see that anywhere. Did that fall out? Oh, I found it. Okay. <laughs> so apparently there is a product in here that I didn't even know existed. So this is the Too Faced Rich and Dazzling, Dazzling, Rich and Dazzling High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss. I got mine in the shades Two Night Stand, which um is better than a One Night Stand because you two nightstands are better than one because you have more place to set your um, cups of water for when you go to sleep. Ooh, this is actually really pretty packaging. I like that a lot. It's really cute. I actually like how this looks on the lips because it's not like an overly like frosty sparkly lip gloss. It just kind of gives your mouth, <laughs> your mouth like a wet look. Anywho, this is $21. Oh my goodness. And then we have the Cosmetics Facial Roller, which is $69. Yeah, that wasn't a regular sound. Okay, so my total came to $385, which I think is really good. I personally am really excited about this box. There's some new stuff in here, some stuff I haven't really seen before in subscription boxes, a beauty tool, a fragrance, some skin stuff. I personally think this is a really good box. and I'm very excited to, I guess, try out the eyeshadow palette. We really don't have that much makeup to try on today, but we'll try on the eyeshadow palette and the highlights. But overall, I'm actually really happy with this box, and I think we got a good value. Like I said, I think I'm going to start with my eyes first today, which I literally never do, but I did have a lot of fallout with a couple of the shades in the last palette, so today I'm just going to do my eyes first. I'm going to use a little bit of this Shape Tape Concealer to put down a base. Oh, that's harder than a brick. Isn't Briar Rose Sleeping Beauty? Is that like the actual name of the fan?
fairy tale is Briar Rose and not Sleeping Beauty, or am I just wrong on every account right now? Okay, so automatically I want to use this blue shade. Am I afraid to use this blue shade? Yes, I am. Um, but that's the shade that's like calling to me. But then these are like really pretty too. Like this right here make a beautiful combination for an eye look, but I feel like I do that all the time. Maybe I should do blue. It'll match my weird tie dye. Eh, might as well just go for it. So I think I'm going to take the shade here, which is Prince. It does look like it's already going to have some fallout. And this I'm going to like pat on first and then blend out. I think I might put a little bit in the inner corner too, and then try to do like a blue halo eye. Will that end up being what this final makeup look is like? Probably not, but we'll give it a try. Oh, that's why it feels so weird. I always do my eyebrows before I do my eye makeup. I don't know why, but I just, I forgot to do them. Okay, in the middle on my finger, I'm taking this castle shade and kind of packing that into that empty area. And then right in the middle of that, I'm taking fairies, which is like kind of a lighter silver and putting that right, right, right in the middle. And then I'm gonna take a packing brush and really, really deepen up that blue. I gotta put on my eyebrows. I actually can't handle it. I don't know what it looks like fully without my eyebrow on. So let me find this brush real fast. After no less than three years of using the same exact eyebrow brush to the point where I've had to literally trim it off because the end of the hairs got so like weird and spread out. I finally broke down and bought a new eyebrow brush. It went on so smooth. Okay, so this literally took like five minutes to do. I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye over here and then I'll come back to finish up the eye. Look at what I can almost do. I put on some lashes. Okay, so now really quick before I do my other face stuff, I'm going to roll my face with this little stick. Again, I'm not 100% sure what this really does, but it feels nice. Maybe I'll put on a little bit of this rose oil and then roll it while the rose oil is on. Is that something you can do? Oh, that is very, very rosy. <laughs> oh, and now it's all over me. Okay. Gosh, I just really don't like rose. Now I'm going to roll the rose oil on. I really do like how this feels. Do I think $69 is like a lot of money for this little stick? Kinda. Okay, so the foundation is done. I'm really happy that I did my eyes before I did my entire face because I did have a lot of blue fallout like on my cheeks. Now I think I'm gonna use this highlight just kind of as blush on its own. It's way, way, way too dark for me just to use as like an actual highlight. But I think it might act as like kind of a pretty glowy blush. Okay, yeah, I think that actually worked out well as a blush for me personally. It's just way too deep for my skin tone, but if you do have a deeper skin tone, I think this would look beautiful on it. Okay, for underneath the eyes, I really don't think I'm gonna do anything dark. So I might take this fairy tale shade and just put like a little bit of glow just right underneath my eye. Then I'm gonna add just a little bit of mascara to the bottom, or I guess I could just put it all in one big clump. Throw on just a little bit more of this lip gloss. All right, you guys, I guess that is the final look. I feel like I'm like from the 90s or something. I guess I actually, well, I am from the 90s, but I feel like this makeup look is kind of from the 90s, the kind of frosty blue with like the pale shiny lip. But I do actually like how it turned out for, for me where I live, in, which is Kentucky. This is actually like an appropriate everyday look. Kentucky blue around these parts is always like highly welcome. I do actually really like this look. I think the palette is really nice. Um, I did have some fallout, but not nearly as much as I did with the smaller palette. And I think the pigment was really, really good. This look also took like five minutes as far as the eyeshadow goes. Everything else took like an hour, mainly the eyelashes. But the eyeshadow, like I slapped it right on, it blended out easily and was really pigmented. So overall, I'm super duper happy with how everything came out and I really, really enjoyed this box. I think this is one of my favorites that I've received, like maybe ever as far as BoxyCharm it called? Foxy Lux goes. <laughs> all right, you guys, that is everything I have for you all today. Thank you so very much for watching. If you are interested in subscribing to BoxyCharm, I do have a referral link down below in the description. This video wasn't sponsored or anything, but you can sign up to that link and I do get a little bit of commission. Thank you guys again just so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Oh, my phone's covered in oil. What? <gasps> Why is this my life? How am I this terrible? Oh no, there's rose oil over literally everything. Bye.